Hello and welcome to a video on surface area and in this video we're going to look at calculating the surface area of different shaped cuboids. So what does the term surface area mean? Well if you just think about the word area let's say we've got a rectangle and that rectangle has a base of three centimeters and a height of two centimeters. Okay so how do we calculate the area of this rectangle? Well we take the base so three centimeters and we multiply it by the height, which is two centimeters, and that gives us six centimeters squared. So we know what the word area means, but what does the term surface area mean? Well, if we think about this cuboid here, all cuboids have six faces. Now, another word for a face is a surface. So if we wanted to calculate the area of this top face here, we would take this length here of five, and we would multiply it by that length there and that will give us the area of this top face or we could say the surface area of this top face so let's calculate the surface area of each of these different faces of our cuboid okay so let's start with the top face now the top face is going to be five centimeters multiplied by four centimeters five centimeters multiplied by four centimeters and that gives us 20 centimeters squared. Now let's calculate the area of the bottom face. Now the bottom is going to be this length here multiplied by that length there and again it's going to be five centimeters multiplied by four centimeters. So that's also going to be 20 centimeters squared. Now let's calculate the left face. So this the area of this face here so it's going to be this length so two centimeters multiplied by that length there. Now that length is four centimeters, which gives us eight centimeters squared. So that's the left. And again, if we look at the right, hopefully you can all see that the right is gonna be exactly the same. So two centimeters multiplied by four centimeters. And that again, gives us eight centimeters squared. So, so far we've got four of the faces. All we need to calculate now is the front and the back. So the front, which is this one here, that's going to be the base, which is five centimeters, multiplied by the height, which is two centimeters. So let's write that down. So the front is going to be five centimeters, multiplied by two centimeters, which gives us 10 centimeters squared. And then finally, the back is this area here. So again, it's going to be five centimeters, and then the height is two centimeters. Five times two gives us 10 centimeters squared. So we have calculated the surface area of each of the different faces of our cuboid. Now to calculate the total surface area, we just add them all together. So 20 plus 20 is 40. 40 plus another 20 gives us 60. 60 plus 16, that gives us 76. So it's 76 centimeters squared. So that is the total surface area of this cuboid. Okay, so let's do another one. Let's calculate the total surface area of this cuboid here. And I encourage you to pause the video and have a go at doing this yourself. Okay, so I'm assuming you've paused the video now, so let's go through this together. So first of all, let's calculate the area of this face here. So the front, that's gonna be three centimeters multiplied by one centimeter and that gives us three centimeters squared. And then if I do the back as well, the back is exactly the same as the front. So the back is also gonna be three centimeters squared. Okay, let's do the top. So it doesn't matter which order you do these in, so I'm just gonna do the top next. So the top is three centimeters multiplied by 10 centimeters, which gives us 30 centimeters squared. And the bottom, just like before, the bottom, which is this area here, is exactly the same as the top. So the bottom is also going to be 30 centimeters squared. Now we've just got to do the right and the left. So let's do the right. So the right is going to be this area. So this area is going to be 10 centimeters by the height, which is one centimeter. So the right is going to be 10 centimeters multiplied by one centimeter and that gives us 
10 centimeters squared. And then the left, which is this section here, it's going to be exactly the same as the right, so that's also going to be 10 centimeters squared. Okay, so we've worked out the surface area of each individual face. Now to work out the total surface area, we just need to add up all of these values. So 3 plus 3 is 6, and then 6 plus 30, that's 36, plus 30 is 66, 76, 86. So it's 86 centimetres squared, that is the total surface area of our cuboid. Okay, so let's do one more of these. Let's have a go at calculating the total surface area of this teal coloured cuboid here or you might want to call it a minty fresh bubblegum colour. So whichever colour you think it is, pause the video and have a go at doing this one yourself. Okay, so before I calculate the surface area, hopefully you spotted something and hopefully you spotted that we have different units here. So what we're going to have to do is first of all convert this um, dimension from centimetres into millimetres. So one centimetre, that is the same as 10 millimetres. Okay, now we've got all of the same units, we can calculate the surface areas. So let's start with the top. So let's have a go at calculating the top face. So the top face, that's going to be this length, which is eight millimetres. So the top is going to be eight millimetres multiplied by this length here. Now that length is 10 millimetres. When we do eight times 10, that gives us 80 millimetres squared. So if we think about the base or the bottom face of our cuboid, that's going to be exactly the same as the top. So that's also going to be 80 millimeters squared. Let's pick a different color now. Let's choose fuchsia. So let's choose the front face. So have a look at the front face. That's this one here. So the front face is going to be eight millimeters multiplied by the height, which is nine millimeters which gives us 72 millimeters squared and then just like the front we look at the back back is also going to be eight times nine which is also 72 millimeters squared and now the last one let's choose something different now let's go for a maroon color so let's go for the left so this is the left I'm trying to use as many colours as possible just to make it nice and colourful. So the left is going to be, so that's the height, which is 9mm, multiplied by the depth, which is 10mm, which gives us 90mm squared. And then the right, which is this space here, that's also going to be, I don't need to write it in, that's 9mm multiplied by 10mm, which is also 90mm squared. Okay, so let's work out the total surface area. So I think I can do this in my head. So 90 plus 90, that's 180. 180 plus 80, that's 260. Plus another 80, that is 340. Okay, so let's just write that down, because I don't think I will be able to do all of this in my head, actually. Plus 72 plus 72. Well, 72 plus 72 is 144. So we just need to add 340 to 144. 0 plus 4 is 4, 4 plus 4 is 8, and 3 plus 1 is 4. So I think that's right. 484, and it is in millimetres squared, and that is our total surface area. So hopefully uh, that gave you a bit more of an understanding of, first of all, what the surface area actually is, and then the process that we need to use in order to calculate the surface area of cuboids. So in the next video, we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to look at the surface area of triangular prisms. Thanks for watching.